are special, we are awesome, we are family. We're full of love, we're full of life, we're a special, awesome family. We're a special, awesome family. It's our special, awesome family. Awesome. Good Saturday morning, everybody. It is Saturday and it is early, but we have a few things to do. But guys, I want to show you something I got. Now, Rich loves this stuff. He drinks it all the time and he gets it by the, by the bulk, but... I haven't really tried all that much of this, so we're gonna do a live taste test right here on here on the camera of me tasting the ultra famous Fiji water. I hear the doctor he doesn't talk you about it all the time. It's a big thing a lot of people love. So we're gonna go get the bottle that I have. I put it in the freezer because it's just not cold enough for me to like I like my water super super cold. And it wasn't cold enough for me. So, I'm going to go grab it out of the freezer, and we are going to try it. Still not quite cold enough yet, but we're still going to try it anyway. Now, this came from Walmart. Um, I get this if my mom, my dad actually got me some. So, we're going to try it. <clears throat> Kids are having their breakfast, and I'm going to open this bottle of water. It's hard to open. Ah. All right. Now it's time for a live taste test. And here we go. I like it. Oh my god, that's good. Holy crap. No wonder Rich likes it so much. I always get it for him. But I always usually go to Rwanda, he's drinking or something like that. Or coffee, but... Wow. That is a breath of fresh air. Or a drink of fresh water, I guess you'd call it. Let me put this back in the fridge. The freezer for, please for a little bit. But, wow. That's good water. I like it. Um... It comes in these big square bottles that are really neat. And I like them because they're huge and they're square. I like smaller bottles usually, but this one ain't so bad. So I'm gonna put that back up there in there for just a few minutes so that they get colder. I have to go shop today. We're gonna need quite a few things today, so I'm gonna go. Go to the shop. We need some more Fiji water because uh Rich drinks it all the time. Him and Dee drink it. Like constantly, so. So the kids are having their breakfast. I'm trying to wake up. It has been a long night, y'all. James has been having some severe sib. Just helping through his behavior. Morning, Jamie. Hi, baby. You okay? So I'm gonna go to the store here in a little bit after I get more awake. But wow, that water is awesome. That is really good. Um, people say it tastes like coconut, but to me, it just actually tastes good. <clears throat> so we're gonna go get ready to go to the store in a little bit. And we're actually gonna all go. As a family, we're gonna do it. Um, I think that's what we're gonna do. Oh, goodness. I try to look at you guys. So anyway, um, some kids are gonna be in covered strollers though because it's just easier to have them in strollers and them not running off. It's just better to have that. Such as like Ezra, Stephen, um, Jamie. It'd be easier for them to be in the strollers versus them running off like that. So. We're gonna do that. 
So let's go get ready to go to the store, guys. Hey guys, we made it out the door. We're dressed in out the door, everybody. Um, headed to the store. Steven didn't really want to go, but this might be a problem. This might be a serious one, actually. I hope it's not, but it could turn out to be really bad. So we'll see what really ends up happening with it. But you guys, I'm trying to, I'm really trying hard to wake up a little bit more because my brain feels tired. It's like my brain's like, ugh. So yeah. Try to get ourselves moving this morning. Steven, sit back in your seat, please. Bottom of the seat, please. So, <clears throat> we've never shown a shopping trip with all the kids of us. So, Rich is like, well, why don't we do that today? I'm like, are you kidding me? Uh, yeah. Our family's humongous. As you all know, uh, those of you who don't know, welcome to my channel. Sickness. Now. Sickness. You can still do it. Pause. But. Anyway. Yes, I'm using a different voice with my camera because I'm using the uh, voice three of the S word. I dare not say his name because he'll go boom. I'm like, no. So. Anyway, we have never shopped with all of the kids. So we're gonna try it today. And guys, I, I hope we don't end up going again. <laughs> okay, let's do it. So we're gonna go in the floor, store, bit in the store, but first, Fiji water. This stuff is awesome, it's addicting though. Oh my God, that's so good. Holy wow, that's awesome. All right, so we're gonna list here. Come on, guys, let's go. We have never attempted to take all the kids at one time, so this could be fun. Okay, so I know we need uh, some produce and stuff like that because Rich likes tomato sandwiches sometimes if he wants it or he likes a good salad so so does Lindsay sometimes likes good salad YouTube father and autism mom and dad are so, uh, use magic so we're here at Wegmans because Wegmans is close to the house and it's just easier for us better for us that way. Tomatoes. Cucumbers. Let's see. Oh, orange is good. We have, they have the bags of oranges again. Yay. Because we're just going through orange phase right now. You guys, I cannot believe how hot it is today in Texas. It's so hot. I'm jealous because in Iowa it's snowing and it's cool, but over here it's like burning out of pot. Let's see here. Apples, gotta have our apples. Lonzi likes, Lonzi's not really picky about certain kinds, really. He doesn't really do a whole lot of apples that much. But Rich likes the Red Delicious. And we get the Pink Lady, because uh, that's what Casey and Tab like. And also, I have to get, to get the more stuff for a hot dog, potato, hot dog potato casserole, because our family is now obsessed with it, including myself, so... Um, it's going to become a staple in our rotation, so. Okay. Cheese. Rice for Rich, because we're just going, him and D are going through a serious rice phase. 
Whoa! <laughs> uh, I almost dropped my iPhone. That would not have been pretty. Okay, guys. I'm gonna get some more Halloween candy because I've gotta make a few more treat bags or buckets. Hi, honey. Okay, we got the produce and stuff like that. I'm not getting peaches this week because our kids don't really eat them and the only person who does is Rich and he'll get his own. He usually does. Hamburger meats. And I got the potatoes that we need for the bake the casserole we make. Now I need the hot dogs and cheese. It's crazy in here, you guys. And our kids are hoping that they'll be able to be okay. Ezra, stay seated, please. Ezra, stay in your seat, please. Chicken strips, chicken nuggets. And chicken rings, rings. Cause Kyle is still going through his chicken ring phase. I don't know how much I'll be able to record of this, you guys, honestly, cause bringing all the kids in here is hard. There's the brown cows that have a question. Let me see. Chicken rings, fish sticks, chicken nuggets for Bodie. Chicken strips for Tav. It's so hot here today, I'm sweating. Like, I'm totally sweaty. Come on, guys. Oh, uh, Rich got the Fiji water. Thank you, honey. Honey got some water, too. Okay, Klondike bars for Lindsay because he loves Klondike bars. He could live on these Klondike bars. And it's also a place we get a lot of our, our stuff like yogurt and things. Okay, Snickers yogurt for Lindsay. I'm gonna get a bunch of packs of this because a lot of the kids love this. Great yogurt for Leah. Oh, Lonzie, thank you, honey. Lonzie just brought me the veal patties. Thank you, honey. Because Jamie's going through a veal phase. Alright, a french fries because our family, our kids love Alright. Oh, thank you, honey. And Lonzie found the frozen vegetables that we use, which is bird's eye. Our kids are funny when it comes to certain foods. M&M yogurt for Joshua. No yogurt for Alex. Oreo yogurt for Jamie. Okay. 
We are our Rich's protein bars. Our sandwich bread for the week. And my meat mix that I use. And Lonzie just fed a humongous thing of hot dogs, so. And then we got cheese too. I need bacon, babe. I also need croissants because uh, Kevin's going through a croissant phase. Yeah, yeah, thank you, honey. I need to get Pillow Spring water for Bodie and Kyle because it's all the old drink. Those are going to feed you sometimes. But now, Rich, me, Casey, Tav, a lot of us like to feed you water. Milk. 1% for Bile and, Bile and Cody. Okay. Kyle and Bodie? Whatever, Rocky. And whole milk for us. Oh. And. Pizza rolls. Um, our kids love these. We haven't gotten them in a while. Hash browns. We get the Krispy Kreme the Ryder brand. Our kids love this. As do we. Okay, guys, this is hard because a couple of our kids took off on us. Juice. We need apple juice. And these Mondo juice things. I can love these things. <clears throat> grab and go sandwiches. Our kids love these. And we get them sometimes just for grab and goes. Our kids are also going through a red bear and pizza strike. Uh, phrase, phase, whatever. Streak. Get that. And also some taquitos. Twins ate up all the queso, so I have to get some more queso as well. And very good tortilla chips too, because they ate up all the queso. So some of the kids are starting to get fussy. Hey guys, we are home. Let me tell you guys, it was, it was crazy. It got to the point where I really couldn't film safely. Um, we had a couple of kids that had meltdowns. It was just kind of not a good idea to film safely. Um, still all, no, cat. Um, I am making treat buckets for Halloween. Um, Tab's cooking his famous dinner that he makes. It's really good. You guys, um, we're going to go to the pumpkin patch tomorrow. Our kids are a little too wound up. Like, they're a little too tired today to do it. So we're going to go to the pumpkin patch tomorrow instead of today. But, typical Saturday in the house of Harris. Um, Lonzie is up and around. He's doing his workout. And I am making treat buckets. Kyle's in his right room with Bodie. Daniel's resting. He's tired. That trip was long for him. So, we have been discussing... Discussing? Okay, whatever, Rocky. Discussing something um, kind of big. 
we have friends in the UK. We're thinking about going to UK pretty soon um, on a holiday or something with the kids. And um, we do have a house up there. And, well, we have two. We have one in Scotland, actually three. One in Scotland, one in Ireland, one in, one in uh, England. So, Doug and Sarah are, are uh, working to go to England. So, we're going to meet them probably if we get to go and have Thanksgiving up there. And our whole family is going to travel together. All of us who come are going to travel together up there and kind of scope things out and all that. So, yeah. Not sure yet if it's going to happen. We're looking into it. Um, uh, yeah. Anyway, we're looking into it. We're going to see. So I'm getting a lot of these treat bags done. I'm washing clothes. I'm drying some clothes. Y'all, it is so hot here in Houston. It makes me actually tired being this hot. And I was trying to find, turn the fan off so I could actually record for you guys. But I safely can't turn that off because it's just too hot. So you have to put with fan noise, sorry. But anyway. Just putting candy in these buckets. I'm also putting a protein bar in each one. Because the kids like these. So we're doing that. Um, Rich is taking a bit of a nap right now because he's, he's tired. He did a lot of hefting and lifting and everything, so he's kind of re relaxing for a minute. And I am sorting these into buckets. We decided to come to the pumpkin patch after all, but it is warm, so we're not going to stay too long. Because it is a little bit too hot to be out. I had to bring a portable fan just to keep cool because um, kids like Avery and Ewan and Daniel and them need to stay super cool. Because if there's a lot of heat, they'll have seizures. So let's go see what we can do. Sit down, Ezra, please. Ezra, please sit down. So things are a little bit crazy right now. We're trying to get things done. Looking for different things like pumpkins. They already found pumpkins they wanted. We're turning the van. Sit down, please. Ezra's crying. Ezra, you want to go on the hayride? He's not sure about that with all that loud noise, but we'll see. Kyle's game for it. Ow! So the other kids are game. Come on, guys. Let's go. You ready? YouTube. Whoa, Ezra, look at that. So I really can't make that from the hate right very easily. I was too busy trying to restrain Ezra from jumping off of the wagon. Anyway, my butt is sore. Look at that. Ooh, spooky, huh? I'm sweating buckets. Is that spooky? Look the angle, is that spooky, Bubba? Hey guys, so we got the pumpkins we wanted. The kids had some apple cider and a few other snacks. I was just kind of walking around just kind of see. It is creepy. <laughs> hey, 
anyways, um, the kids got the trick or treat and got some candy and stuff. And that was good. I think some of them are getting tired though. But we seriously are thinking about going to UK for Thanksgiving because Doug is there, have to go there for a trial run. So we're seriously thinking about going with them. Just kind of seeing what the need is over there. No, we're not moving there. We do have a house there though. Two. Well, three actually. Keep up, Bowser. Come on, Bubba. Let's get you back in your stroller. You're getting fussy. Come on. Good job, Buzz. Kids are trick or treating. It's getting dark. They're starting to get tired, I think, though. So. Been here for a few hours now. Still sweating through my t-shirt. Good job, Ezra. Good job, Daniel. Good job, you guys. Y'all are all doing so good. Is this fun? Yeah. Steven's actually liking it. I couldn't believe he actually likes it. We're going to probably head home soon because the kids are getting tired. They're very fussy. Hey guys, so it was great. We're heading home. We're exhausted. The kids are starting to get fussy. So we're going to head on home and get them ready for bed. It is about 7.45. They usually go down at 8. So I'm trying to get home to get that to happen. Because if they're off routine at all, it's, it's a mess. So I try to keep things on routine. Sorry about the fan in your face, you guys. It's just that I am so hot. I'm burning up. I'm hot. So we're gonna head home, put these young ones to bed. I'm gonna finish washing all these suits and stuff for the week and then all that. Hey guys, I got the kids bathed and in the bed. It is that time of night to do that. I'm sorry today was not much of a vlog. <laughs> You saw a few clips, few, bleh, a few clips here and there. Hopefully soon you'll see more than that. Hopefully on Halloween night I can show you more than that too. Uh, uh, so I'm watching all these suits and his work suits and his Sunday suit. He's already gone upstairs to bed. He's exhausted. Still pretty tired from working all week and not really getting much of a break. So, tomorrow's church and all that. But we're seriously thinking like going to the UK for like Thanksgiving or something, maybe Christmas. I don't know yet. We're still gonna think on it because we have to get services that our kids are going to need, so we'll have to think about it. Anyway, you guys, it is super hot here in Texas right now. I'm just tired from all the heat. I just want to get in cool air. Anyways, hope you guys are all doing good. I want to say go ahead and say good night. I know today wasn't much. I'm sorry about that. Today was sort of a label on Saturday, but Hopefully I'll come up with more content later. 
I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and talk to you a bit. Hey guys, it's later in the, in the night and I can't hear because I heard noises. I'm like, what is that? It's so hot outside. James? Mm -hmm. James? You okay? He's having like my iconic episodes and episode of Kenny and stuff like episode of Sid. Like that. James. James. Hmm. Sit down. Sit down. James. You're okay, honey. You're all right, James. This is the hardest part about what you need to Oh, very severe seizure I can't get. Lindsay's sound asleep and I tried waking him, but I couldn't. Rich is also sound asleep, but couldn't make it later. Dee's also sleepy. Yeah. It's just me. It's very important to have two people with Jamie at all times. More seizures to me. And the doctors have no idea what's causing this. And he goes through days where he's fine. And then days like this where he's not calm at all. No, James. <laughs> that was a big seizure. He gets cozy in this that's hit himself. Well, that seizure's right there. And if we're not careful, that could turn into a tonic clinic, so we don't want it to happen like that. So I give his clove well, exam, which is like his first step rescue man. James. It's okay. Jamie. Come on. Come on. No. Stay. Sure. Yeah, he gets cozy and he's just hitting himself. These are seizures right here. This is all seizures. You're okay. I'm so tired. I'm like sitting so here trying not to fall asleep. James. No. Hands here. Hands here. James. James. Mama's here. It's okay. You're okay. So I, the, this would go here to reduce the sip. And he said his, it increases when there's not enough people to help. James. You're okay. Mm. 
Oh, that's seizure. More seizures. These are all seizure related. Look at those hands. Hey, Jamie. You're okay. So I got a question I'm gonna answer while I'm dealing with James here. Why do I micromanage my kids? When you have children with autism, more special needs, you have to basically manage every part of their day, every aspect of it. Cool. And if you don't, they can have meltdowns or stuff like that. Or it can cause it. Okay. You okay, James? You okay? You're okay. You're okay, honey. You're okay. Come on, no, no, no. No. Don't get up. Don't get up. Don't get up. Don't give up. Mm. Mm. Mama's here. I'm usually more here than this foot right now. I'm so exhausted. Mm. Oh, hey, James. Mm. No. James. Don't bite your hands, okay? Hands here. Okay. I'm so exhausted. I'm early functioning. Come on, James. Mm. Now he's hitting himself again. Like I've been telling you guys, the doctors have no idea why he hits. Sorry, I had a, a little bit of air. The doctors don't know why he is, is hitting himself right now. Because all his meds are right. But he is. James. Come on. Come on, James. More seizures. James. Hey, 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 James, James, James. Hands down. Hands down. More seizure actually. No, James. It's okay, honey. James. James. No. No hitting. These are staring seizures he's having. Or seizure activity. This is where it's like when one person has James. But he needs to at least because he has, he's bigger than I am. James. Come on. No, no. seizures and I can't believe that that one lady is like put 
Pull us between his hands. Yeah, well, that is really good. And you have to have oxygen on him just in case because his oxygen has gone down to 64. <laughs> James, come on. <coughs> James. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Now, usually I would want to direct him into a different room, but with the seizures, he's having the jolts. It's not a good idea. James. Don't yet. No, no, no. Come on, come on. Ow, my butt. This has been going on for almost an hour now. So I just give him his bedazzling. Hope that might help. This kid caused trying to go. If we're not careful here. No, James. Now the hitting starts to sit there and bang on his chair, and then he'll start banging on himself. No, James, no. James? No, no. And if your hands are in the way, he will hit you if you don't have a good hold on him. But he's not aggressive. It's just, you know, he has hip seizures. Come on, James. Sit down. James. Thank you. Now, when he gets to this, is when he's really starting to start wailing himself. I hate when he gets in this chair. I really can't stand it, but. Is the way to contain him right now? Because he's really angry. <laughs> but notice he's hitting himself with both hands. But the pillows didn't stop at the seizure death. Or seizures. No. Down. James. Sit down. James. Come on. James. No, 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 no. Come on. One drink? He's very tired and chill. Hey guys, it's been about an hour. I finally got him calmed down and back to normal. Basically, he's basically baseline now. Um, he's in his bed with his puppies and his cats and stuff. And his bottle. Oh, that 
so go ahead and say good night and i'll talk to y'all tomorrow i hope you are having a good day love you guys so much just know that you're special and you're loved you are awesome and you are right you are loved you are special and you're awesome